In the 608 today with Christmas fast approaching, we're giving you some inspiration you might need this time of year. Yeah, Josh Breider is helping us out this morning. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, guys. So we knew just who to go to for a little advice this morning. Lisa Briggs at the Bruce Company is giving us some last minute holiday hacks. First, we're talking Christmas gift baskets. We're helping you enjoy the magic of the season this morning with the one and only Lisa Briggs. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. How are you? Good. So we're here at the Bruce Company. You're going to help us make the holidays a little bit easier because there is a lot of stress this time of year. It is a very fraught time of year, isn't it? Lots of motion, lots of family drama. And so why not make it a little bit easier on yourself? So the gift giving, that's what always gets so difficult because having to think so much about other people, right? <laughs> and making sure that you're giving them what they want, right? Right. And so a lot of times, you know, you're thinking about that one gift, right? And it has to be perfect. And so maybe you just diversify a little bit and you think about something that somebody is interested in. It could be birding, it could be baking, it could be they need some pampering, it could be a million things. Everybody has something that they love to do. And then find a good container and then build them a gift basket because you're bound to get something in there that they really love and then a bunch of stuff that they like. And these could be anything from really simple to even the more extravagant ones. Absolutely. So I had my staff put these together because I've been really busy and they went the extravagant route for sure. So we have, this one is for somebody who likes to cook. So there's all kinds of baking equipment and mixes and tools and all that kind of stuff. This one I would love to get. This is for birding, somebody who loves birds. So there's some bird feeders, there's food, there's some ID guides, even some cute little holiday napkins that have some birds on them. And then this one is for a gardener. So this is perfect for a gardener. So all kinds of tools and stuff. But like I said, they don't have to be this big. You can start with a much smaller container. So just find something that you like start filling it up. You know, I even like the lantern. These are kind of in now. I mm -hmm. see a lot of folks just putting them right out on their porch or you can have that in your yeah, house. Yeah, so it's useful afterwards. Same with the canister that you were holding before. So I don't know, I see this with some personal care stuff like some really nice body wash and maybe a cool loofah sponge or something like that. That would be a really sweet gift. And it's fun and meaningful too Absolutely. because you're personalizing it for whoever you're giving to. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Lisa, thank you always for making life a little easier for us. <laughs> you're very welcome. <laughs> We appreciate your time this morning. All this advice is up on channel3000.com. Lisa is so awesome. She always knows the ins and outs with everything. I like the idea of putting the gifts in another gift. There's a, you know, the, the that lamp, uh, the, the lantern and then putting the other things inside of the lantern. It makes it a little <laughs> special. Like, there's something about it, because it's like, I really love those lanterns. I was just telling you guys, like, in that package there. But there's something about that. But yeah, stuff it inside there, and then you kind of have a couple of, you know, really fun ideas there. So. If you guys are looking for gifts for me, you can put some cookies in a lantern. <laughs> Mama's hungry. <laughs> there's still some cookies uh, back there well, that I, I brought know. in from Monday. So I can't believe they're still here, and they're good. still good. So. Yeah, they are good. All right, thanks, Josh.